want to talk a little bit about um, soul tribe. What your soul? Who are, who are your soul tribe? Who are your people? Who are the people that you surround yourself with? And I want to be really specific about what I mean by this because you can have family that we're, we're all born into families, and families can be extremely toxic. They can cut you down. They cannot believe in your dreams. They cannot be supportive. They can be jealous. They can be hurtful, okay? So they can also be wonderful. I don't want to just list the negative things. Families can be extremely uplifting. They can be people that that are your cheerleaders. And so if you have people in your life that are your direct family, that are your cheerleaders, 100% that's awesome. However, if you have people that surround you that are in your actual biological family that are not lifting you up, then they are not part of your soul tribe. Now, there's a caveat to this. If you are doing things that are destructive to your own behavior, your family may move away and therefore it may seem like they're not supporting you when really they're creating healthy boundaries because you have some lessons to learn. Okay, that's, I'm not talking about that. What I'm talking about is when you are starting to create your authentic dream and when you're traveling along your purposeful path, your mission, if there's individuals in your direct family that start to try to cut you down and bring you down to their level, then they're not part of your soul tribe. And you have to, again, create those boundaries so that you are continuing to lift yourself up towards your dreams. Now, the other thing that is really important in terms of really knowing who your soul tribe is and who you are calibrating with for your highest pur purpose and your highest good is that they will lift you up. When you are in the presence of people that are good for you, they will naturally lift you up. You will naturally feel a glow when you're around them. You will feel better from being in their presence and you will leave their presence wanting to create a better version of yourself. And that is what you want to align with. If you are filling your time with people that it's the opposite. When you leave their presence, you feel exhausted or you feel small or like there's a lot of heaviness because you've done things that you don't feel proud of, like talking negatively about others. These are people that you don't want to consider as a long-term pillar of your soul family. Okay, so that's just some basic things that you can watch for in terms of creating the people that you want in your life. I always say, surround yourself with the people that you want to become because you will watch their actions and you'll watch how they live and you can study them you can kind of be mesmerized by their energy the way they do things one thing um, I've always found I read it in a book actually many years ago um, and I, I put it into everything that I have ever created is to basically have romance about every action that you do. So I don't care if it is putting a spoon in a dishwasher or cleaning, whatever it is, grace, gratitude, and romance about it. You can always show up in every moment being the best version of yourself. And when you do that, everything becomes exciting. So for me, it's like, even if I'm cleaning my house, I'm Cinderella. I'm going to put on a fabulous outfit. I'm going to make that experience glamorous and glorious and something that I, I look forward to doing over and over and over. There's no task that, that I have in my life that I don't create some sort of a beautiful energy around so that I love doing it. The diligence of creating those tasks and those regular things that I'm going to do to structure a beautiful existence for myself, I'm the one that creates the thoughts around what that means. And I find so much that people will tend to complain about the mundane things they have to do, but what they don't recognize is that they're the ones that are making them mundane. You can liter literally sprinkle happy dust on everything that you create and make anything fun. Anything and everything can be fun. It's just about how you approach it. It's a mindset. So again, hopefully this is helpful to some of you out there. Um, 